happy Monday, listeners, and welcome to another episode of Delusional Bitch Juice, and happy October! Yes. Spooky girl season! Yes, spooky season! Yes, I'm so, like, fucking excited. I'm, it's been October in my heart for a very long time. Honestly, yes. I just got out all of my Halloween Victor. Girl, I've, I've like, had mine up for a while, but, like, I'm adding to it. I just added some more outside stuff. Okay. Like it looks good. Right I've, before I got here. I've, I've seen the t- TikToks and the or the like the the photos. You did like a quick little initial video. Oh, I did. Oh, that was like a photo, the one oh, little okay. photo, and that's just of our that's just of our like TV mantle. So that's just the beginning. Yes, well, we're gonna need a whole Halloween house tour. That's exactly why I was decorating today. <laughs> My intention was to do it today, but I barely got through cleaning and like getting the stuff up. So I was this weekend probably. Right. Right. Well, let's get into our pop culture story, um, and I'm not a Swifty, but I am here for this story. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Thoughts? I love that you're here for it, because I was so against it at first. Why? Why? I just thought, so, Travis Kelsey dated Kayla Nicole, and I'm not one of those girls who is putting up the TikToks, so a lot of people were disappointed. They think he downgraded from Kayla Nicole. Who's to- Kayla Nicole? She's like a model. Um, like a TikTok person or no, no just a model? model. Like okay. I think she was a TV host on something before she was a model. But people are categorizing her now as like an Instagram baddie model kind of thing. Got it. Okay. So they're like acting like she downgraded from he. Sorry. They're acting like Travis downgraded by going from Kayla to to Taylor but, Swift. But I'm like, it's Taylor freaking Swift. Kayla Nicole is really hot. Like, don't get me wrong. She's very hot. But like, you cannot... I think it's, like, one of those do not compete where you don't compare kind of things. Like, yes. she's very, like, so, I'm not, like, knocking Kayla Nicole right. in any way. She's beautiful. I've been, like, Wait, obsessed like, with her. Look her up. Looking her up she's right She's so now. hot. She's so hot. Like, if I if I could date her, I would. When you said baddie, that gives me a different vibe, like, look-wise, then in my Swift. head, and then Taylor Swift. That's exactly why everyone's having a problem with him going from her to Taylor and that's what I was oh, struggling with at yep. first. It's a very different Very look. different vibe and look. So, but, like, it's Taylor Swift. And so I didn't, I thought he was just, like, kind of getting hit. We Obviously, Travis Kelsey is super rich and famous by himself. But I thought he was getting his, like, five minutes of, like, mega fame. With the whole, like, bracelet thing? Well, yeah, I'm just trying to, like, I don't know, get, I thought it was a joke. I thought it was all supposed to be fun. I thought it was a PR stunt, honestly. So, yes. for those of you who don't know, Travis Kelsey hit up Taylor Swift and tried to give her a friendship bracelet with his phone number on it, which I honestly think is super creative. I, no, I love it. I would if probably so, do some bullshit like that. If my man did that to me, I would propose. Right. Honestly, <laughs> like, I would do that That's to a cute. guy. Like, that is super cute. Yeah. But she declined. <gasps> Yeah, so she did not accept the, the friendship bracelet. And then he went on, like, some show and was like, yeah, I asked Taylor, hey, I saw you kill it at Arrowhead Stadio. Do you want to see me come kill it at Arrowhead St- Studio? Or stu- stadium. stadium. Stadium, yeah. Words, girl. And everybody's saying that was, like, such a cringe line. But I think that's funny. Am I just attracted to douchebags? <laughs> I don't know. You might be. Because I was like, I love how you're squeezing all of this when I would take you as the one who'd be such a hater. And I'm the one hating on it. And I'm like, ugh. Honestly. Ugh. And Steven was kind of like that when we first started dating, too. He had all the corny lines. Oh, I know. Cute so I think I kind of like like a bad boy is what he's giving me. And that's why I, I was like, he gives me bad boy and then picture Taylor with him like as much as she would like to sing about bad boys in any of her songs I'm like girl be so for real right now like she's dated like theater kids before exactly <laughs> like it's theater kids it's it's actors that like right. have like stereotypically beautiful faces like bad boys be for real like she was dating nerds before like let's be honest kind of like in the same category as Ari Ariana mm-hmm. Grande yes that's very much her like ex-boyfriend they're all like handsome men but like handsome normal like not bad guys yeah she just needed somebody like fun but and that's what it is so she's she's a Sagittarius like yes and we talked about that Travis Kelsey is a Libra nope. you already know um, I'm I sure I'm gonna be... that. No. I already looked it up, girl. I 
was trying to figure out well, what was going on here. I do have, okay, but we can't, we still can talk about their zodiacs a little bit, but here is the down low of what happened at the game and why everybody okay, was crazy. Yes, go. So, according to page six, Taylor Swift was spotted leaving Kansas City, Missouri, AA. After Ooh. spending time with her rumored boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, a video obtained by Page Six showed Swift arriving in Kansas City International Airport and boarding a private jet um, from a silver SUV. She was shielded by black umbrellas and as she entered the jet, like she, she, it was almost giving like she, I don't know if you've seen like videos and clips of her like trying to get through security and stuff, but it was like she wanted to be seen, but did it. Right. It was like she was playing with the media. Um, Kelsey had invited her to the game and Swift watched from, and she watched from his family's VIP box. Okay, so this is what's telling me that it's not a rumor anymore. Like, she was sitting with his mom. Right. Like, she was in their, his family's VIP box. Like, she could get a VIP po- box on her own. Mm-hmm. But the fact that, like, she was with, which also, um, Travis Kelsey's mom looks a lot like her mom. I was confused about that. I was like, that's not Travis's mom. <laughs> but I'm fairly like No, it Much is. Like, they even have, like, the mom. same haircut. It's just, like, a mom haircut. But um, after the game, Swift and Kelsey were seen leaving together in his convertible, and Swift appeared happy, giggly, and playful. Yeah, she's probably living for this. The song, I can write, the song's gonna be so good. The song's gonna be so good. So, Swifties, let's rejoice on that. Yes. Like, we're gonna hear about this convertible ride in like two two years she's literally the girl dating the football star now that is like what all of her previous i think that's why i like it okay because i love it's a very full circle moment yes i loved like early pop crossover country swift <gasps> so you were you did like her at one time yes okay. like i liked um i liked a love story mm-hmm. i liked um what's the one where she's like the nerd and then the, the end she like takes her glasses yeah, off like, no, no, that's a love, love story. story. No, no um, the one where she was like the girl next door. Yeah, uh, I think it's in my head, but you said I started singing Love Story. Um, and he's a football star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, just the like, girl next door. Oh, um. What is it? Yeah, it's. Can't it be me? That should be me. Something like that. You belong with me. You belong with me. Yes. Okay, so okay. I see, belong. clearly, I like New Era Taylor. I'm like folklore. No, and Evermore was my shit. See, that's why I didn't like. I didn't when she did folklore. I was, okay, sorry. Okay, we're never recording without animals in here. Like for you real. You must upload that clip because I'm sure my face was great. Yes, yes. Oh my god. I so I don't know um, if any of you guys watch YouTube, but I'm getting better at editing the YouTubes. Okay. And I posted what happened last week. Oh god, I haven't even seen it yet. <laughs> so um. Yeah, just a little plug. Go okay. see what happened last week. But yeah, I'm trying to do more outtakes. Love it. Which I think will be fun. Yeah. But anyway, um, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, you belong with me. Yes. So loved that one, and okay. I think that's it. That's the type of vibes. That, like she's dating a football star. She's yes. America's sweetheart. Yes. Like she's getting her dream life that yes, she was thinking about. This I'm like literally soulmate. getting chills talking. This about is her soulmate. Every, so it's been confirmed with astrology that this is her soulmate. And that yes that's why I, that's the only reason i started believing i was like astrology's in the picture down now i can trust something because i didn't trust travis kelsey i also also didn't trust taylor i was like taylor girl what are you doing i thought she was i was like she doesn't need a pr stuff like what like she's very private she because she right very, like beyonce level beyonce like you don't see her you don't like there's no interviews there's no right. like Oh yeah, I 100% don't believe this is a PR sign. No, I like, thought this it was. was real. But then I was just like, if she doesn't need it, and she doesn't do that. But honestly, they're also talking about how like she also usually doesn't like you don't get paparazzi pictures of Taylor while she's like on a carpet. So the fact that right. she was seen with that her the top down in the car, is, right? Like it's yeah, well, and she's... she was seen in New York with Sophie Turner mm-hmm. last week. Yeah, so, so like, we what don't is see happening? her usually unless she wants to be seen or unless she doesn't care. And Do you apparently think she's this just whole thing of... with her being so carefree is yeah. because she's in her, like, she's in her, like, soulmate energy with him. So, like, that's why she's, like, that's even being plain. seen from her, with him. Yeah, because she just doesn't give a shit. Mm-hmm. But also, like... She's having so much fun. And she, well, she returns to her era store in South America. Is it South America or South Africa? She's either going to South America or South Africa next. Yeah. So, because you know how her and Beyonce switched internationally. Mm-hmm. So, Beyonce's still touring in the 
U.S., but Taylor is now going overseas. So I feel like in the short break she has before she returns to mm -hmm. tour, she's just, like, having fun. And she's just, right. like, going balls to the wall, like, does not give a fuck. Like, going out with Joe Jonas's ex, mm -hmm. getting in a convertible with Travis Kelsey. Like, she belongs with an NFL star, honestly. I didn't think so. I, but I guess it's because she's been doing the wrong thing. It's been... This has been her MO for years. Like, she's been dating, like, actors and other music people. So maybe NFL is the key for her. And honestly, there's just a point where, and, like, speaking from personal experience, where you just keep dating the same kind of man, mm -hmm. and you push other guys away because they're not your quote-unquote type. Mm -hmm. But, like, it's really, like, I took a chance on Steven because mm -hmm. he was not the typical type of guy I dated. Mm -hmm. You know, he was mouthy and mm -hmm. kind of sarcastic, and but that, like, vibed with me. Right. And, mouthy and kind of sarcastic. I like that. Yeah, and just, like, and just corny, but, like, in a funny way, and, like, really didn't try to impress me, but also still tried to chase me, and I think that's, like, what, like, Taylor is probably, I'm just assuming, this is probably what she's thinking, like, I have dated, had so many unsuccessful relationships mm -hmm. with the same type of guy, Let's just go for it. Let's just take a chance right. on the douchebag NFL maybe, player. Maybe, maybe I didn't see. I wasn't seeing that at first, and maybe that's why I hate it. Because I was like, oh, she was. I mean, she belongs with the artist type. She's an artist. She belongs with the yeah. artist type, and she's been doing that for so long. But it was clearly time for her to switch it up. Yeah. Well, I mean, the merch had already dropped like literally that night that she people saw her at yes. the game. Um, my personal favorite is the in my red era T-shirt. Yes. Have you seen this T-shirt? Yep. And. I'm loving it. Honestly, I think it just may be because of, like, my Midwestern, like, loyalty mm -hmm. that I love that it's a KC player. Yeah, and also, like, that's so crazy. Like, She's going to be coming to Kansas City. I know City. we're St. Louis, and St. Louis and Kansas City got beef, but... There are only football teams. We're in Missouri. Yeah. It's in Missouri, and our girl Taylor was in Missouri. And she's probably going to be coming to Missouri a lot more. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, what if she moves here? If she moves to Kansas yeah, City... I'm always talking, like, how crazy would that be if Taylor Swift lived in Kansas City? I follow this influencer this missouri specific missouri influencer she has like a farm out there like 30 minutes outside of kansas city mm -hmm. and she filmed taylor like walking by her and i was like i have been following this girl for years and she it just like blows my mind it's like now i feel like i know taylor Swift like in a third degree <laughs> yes <laughs> yes because i'm like she she's in missouri like if she moved to missouri oh my god we'll see apparently they're gonna have kids together like this is like yes so i'm glad you brought her zodiac and his zodiac up because i was for zodiac zest gonna have you guess guess travis kelsey yeah right now he's a libra but okay so let's go over libra traits since you already know charming witty smart flirty romantic yes and worst traits Non-committal, indecisive, superficial, untrustworthy. Does That's that, I, he gives me all of that energy. Like literally, this all is that. all him. He. Do you know his moon? Scorpio, Sag. Sagittarius. That's what Dang. gives the Sagittarius energy. With, yep, with, yep. With her and him, they're gonna have. So He's much an fun it together. man. An it man. Because last week you said all it. Girls no, he sex. is. That's exactly why everyone's a, he's a Libra. Like, that rules beauty and attractiveness and yeah. money. And then he has that Sagittarius, which, again, you yeah, need an it girl placement. That's why he's so popular with mm -hmm. everyone. And, I mean, it makes so much sense. Did you know he had a podcast? Yeah, but I probably don't care about it. I only care about, like, looking at him. Right. He is a very oh, attractive. I don't need to hear anything. Scale, scale 1 to 10, 10 being, like, the hottest man of our life. 10. 10? Yeah, really? He is my Ooh, idea. Okay. You yeah. even like the double earring? Oh, yes. I love yeah, that his is His style sexy. is so sexy. His height, like his face, like he is the total package for me. He is what I would ideally look his for. His eyes. Yeah. Like just the structure of his jaw and his eyes is like what does it for me. Like when I saw that meme, I think the meme that did it for me when I was like, yes, I'm here for this relationship is when he was like looking up at the stands at her. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yep, that's her. She's here. Mm -hmm. Like my heart fucking melted. Yes, and we're I'm not. All, we're all loving this. I'm not an emotional person, you know that. And I was like, I love this man. Yeah, and I, I love, love this man, and I love this them together. If I can't have him, I guess it's okay. <laughs> she, hey, I, you're I, married. That was in my delusions. That was in my delusions. So I was like, I'm going to meet. And, oh shoot, we didn't even do delusions of the week. Yeah, but it's it's fine. I we'll figure, get it. It's usually been the same for us lately. So yeah, that's true. 
I well my delu we'll, we'll talk about it later. Um, but more about the, their zodiacs. So Kelsey is a Libra sign with a Sagittarius moon. According to People Mag's celebrity astrologer Kyle Thomas, both Swift and Kelsey share significant astrological astrological placements, <laughs> indicating a strong connection. Basically everything you just said. They possess key planetary alignments that suggest passion, transformation, luck, desire, and a desire to break boundaries. Would you agree? Yes. Yes. So their romantic compatibility is highlighted by aligned planets indicating a strong attraction, commitment, and compromise. Okay, so this is like where it's confusing me. If his worst traits are non-committal, but then their compatibility is giving commitment like is that because of her sign yeah it's because of like they're gonna be very non-committal unless it is completely perfect so like he dated Kayla Nicole for five years and she broke up with him allegedly this is what I've heard yeah because he wouldn't commit he wouldn't marry her so he's gonna do all that like in five years he couldn't do that he's gonna probably make it like propose to Taylor Swift I, I'm gonna give them a year Okay, well, that's interesting you say that because it says, it, according to this celebrity astrologer, that an upcoming solar eclipse on October 14th is predicted to be a significant turning point in their lives, mm -hmm. whether that's they stay together long term or not or break up. Okay, I think they're saying that. That'll probably be where they're like, yeah, this like is where they're going to take off. So watch the gram on October mm -hmm. 14th for the official announcement that they're together. Yep. That's why I'm thinking. Yes, I'm here for it. I'm finally, I'm ready for Taylor to settle down. I I think she needs it. Because she gives me, I think, she's done it all. She's really done it all. I, and I honestly kind of thought she would never have kids. Because she's very, right. like, she gives me that, like, cat mom energy. Right. But maybe. But, like, how much further should, like, what's the next, like, how much yeah, further can she go? How much can she do? She's, like, the most, like, valued, like, she literally boosted the economy. Yes. Travis, or I'm saying Swift, Kelsey for 2024 next year election. Yes. <laughs> oh my God! I wish we could vote for them. I would. Well, I Taylor don't, Swift, I don't want if you're listening, them. please run for president. I don't want them that for them though. They would hate their lives. They deserve some happiness. Or wait, are they our new Meghan Markle and Prince Harry? Yes, 100. percent And they are the royal couple. I will stay in America to watch this relationship. I won't, lesson. but, like, I, I can watch it from social media, so. This is true. This is true. All right, let's get into our delusions of the week now since we okay. skipped oh, it. God. <laughs> let's go. So, we skipped our delusions of the week, but my delusion is actually for you. <laughs> it's, interesting. I have delusional enough already, so this should be interesting. I want you to write a children's book, and I will be your PR manager, and we'll make you famous. Wait, so when you first told me this idea, I thought nothing of it. And I was just like, Bleh. but I've actually thought about writing a children's book before. You know how fucking easy it is to write a children's book? Yes, that's why I've thought about it before. Because I was like, They're, I mean, I'm good at writing. That's apparently that's one of my hidden talents. But should you complain about your children all the time. Which, which, you know, which are, they're so cute. But they are little goblins. They are. And you could just, like, take that and, I mean, a children's book is, like, what, 20 pages? I, don't, I think I could do it, and I could draw it, too. I could just, like, make fun drawings, and then just be like, it's supposed to be quirky. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, yeah. So, I'm into it. And Stephen has, like, the publication people, he knows. You already have, and I actually, I'm supposed to be writing another book, too, but that's for, that's another delusion for another time. Wait, I want to hear about this. I keep on, people just keep on telling me to write about my, like, adoption, like, my life journey from, like, a foster biography? care and adoption. Yeah, pr pretty much. Oh, my God. No, literally, like, talk to, so, Stephen used to be a copywriter, and he actually was trying to write a book. Okay. So, maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe we do that. Maybe we get you, Stephen, interview you, because, like, you don't have to write it. You know, like, people who do biographies, they, like, have a writer. <laughs> yeah, I, thought, I just thought I had to do it alone, because I didn't think I could afford to, like, hire people to help me with this so I was like I will do it all alone and self-publish well there's things like chat GPT now yeah too. but I don't know a chat GPT written book is ugh. a children's book though okay oh, for the children's book. book for the children's book that'd be so easy yeah you just be like here's my idea here's what I here's my idea here's the tone write it like this and then you literally if you don't like what it spits out you could literally and you literally can be like 800 words 
Yeah, 20 pages. Okay. You can get so specific with it. I'm telling you, we're going to make you famous. We'll be doing book signings in New York this time next year. All right. Period. <laughs> Period. I love it. Are you down with that? Yes. Illusion? I have okay. to think of like a really fun book idea, though. I want it to be really cool. Like, in my mind, I was thinking about the children's Halloween book, but I think that's just because I've been obsessed with Halloween lately. I think, yeah, I mean, I could make one that's, like, kind of, like, Halloween year-round, because a lot of parents are so obsessed with Halloween, and then, like, they get their kids obsessed, and so it'd probably be just, like, really easy to do. It could be Shia and Lennox both at the Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, my dog is going crazy again. He he's just... having, he's looking just like that. Oh, he's laying down like he's a pig. So you probably can't see him on camera, or, I mean, you can probably hear him if you're not watching the video. He's a little but... chicken nugget. He's hot, but don't you see his little band thing? I love him. Yeah. I love it so much. He's ready for Halloween. But yeah, so that's my delusion for you, and also my delusion, kind of. Okay, cool. So do you have a delusion of the week? Yeah, um, it's one I can't tell everyone, but I can tell you part of it. And it's okay. Still, it's still, it's still though me like going to Europe without me paying for it. Yes, 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 yes. That's, that's the yes. Well, okay. how is the business idea going? Is it still the Terribly. same? Terribly. So it's going like, so terrible. We don't even have time to get into why. Like, it's just been a disaster. Did you find so a wholesaler? No, Fair won't let me order from them, so I, like, tried another one, but, like, my LLC name is different than the name I want to use for the actual shop, so then, like, that discrepancy, like, didn't get me approved. And I was like, no, I just don't know where to get stuff. Like, I can start reaching out to individual people that I know. Yeah. Like, start, but then, like, that's going to get expensive really fast. I love that, like, Fair and, like, other, like, established, like, Marketplaces have like net sixty or like yes, payback or they have like payment plans net thirty, yeah. net sixty. Yes, because like, yeah, because you got to make the money before you can like like yeah. a lot I mean, of I'm not that delusional, right? A like, lot of like, retail stores are in the red for like a long time before they even yeah. like it took me like three years to even profit from Top One, and then the pandemic was over, and my biggest selling item was no longer a thing. So right, right. <laughs> it's like what the hell. Um, but, dang, that's like, you can't use Golden Hour? I mean, that's what I thought about doing. I don't know, I don't have a website up for it anymore, and so it wants you to, like, connect the website and, like, prove that you have, like, products and stuff already. I, it's just been a mess. I emailed them because my friend told me she didn't have to do that, and she's, like, she just started, she's launching a boutique, so it's not up yet. Okay. So she's launching it, and she just ordered a bunch of stuff. And then when I asked her how she did that, I was like, "They won't like, they won't approve me." And it's saying I need like to prove that I have a website with products and prices and everything, and like a working checkout. They said all those things specifically, and she was like, "Oh, they didn't make me do any of that." So then I'm telling them that on email. I'm like, "Disappointed customers. I've ordered from them before." Like, yeah, 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 different like business, but like I've ordered from them, so I'm like to treat me like this just because I have a different business going, like is annoying me. Anyways, so I told them about my friend too, and they were like, um, as far as that goes, like we we don't we don't know how that happened, but I feel like let us know her business name and stuff like that. We can look into the situation and like not approve any future orders. I'm like, I just told you this with my friend. Why would I do that to her? Oh my <laughs> god, so now your friend is going to be like, why can't I order wholesale? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I was like, why do you think I would do that to her? Oh. So, like, I'm not, obviously not telling them who, who it is, but, like, I don't, I'm just like, what delusional world are these people at? Like, I think I'm the Lulu, and they're just like, well, let us know your friend's name so we can look into it and block any, like. That doesn't make any sense. No. So here, okay, I was thinking about this, actually, right before you came over to record, and I'm like. Are you on the seller side? Are you, like, did you, and don't get me wrong, I'm not blaming you, but, like, did you maybe accidentally try to sell up, or set up as a seller for fair? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I think I did as a customer, but we're going to double check, because that's a great question. Because all the questions they're asking... It's like, well, you need to have a website first. You need to have a product first. You need to have all this first. And I'm yes. like, I'm like, but like they're a wholesaler, so they. That's know. what I told them. And I, yeah, actually, they know. I feel like they should have said something to me by now. Like, wait, girl. You know, you all those customer service said, people, and I'm not. I'm gonna be non PC here. I don't give a fuck. All those customer service people are in fucking Asia. Yeah. Or India. They just like they literally have boiler boilerplate responses. 
Yeah. And that's what they send you. So they don't give a fuck. Okay, because I it was like, I did say something. I'm like, you guys are supposed to be... No. All customer service is bullshit. Oh, my God. I'm going to be so embarrassed. I made a TikTok complaining about it and tagged them. I have emailed them multiple <laughs> times. So if they... These are really... If they really, really, really me who has just signed up for the wrong one, I'm going to... But it, it did say but they maybe won. check that. Maybe it, check it, it did say, like, in part of the response, but, um, like, sellers want to know where their um, product is going to. They asked you that? No, that's is this said that. One of the reasons they couldn't approve me without a working market, like a, a established store is because sellers want to know where their products are going to. Oh. Yeah, I don't know, but maybe just check that. Usually the solution is like the simplest thing. I do this all the time. Okay. I, 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 I'm glad I talked about it because I was like, I'm so don't want to talk about my delusion this week. And I don't want to revisit my last delusion because it's not going so well. But that's the, we're just manifesting, being delusional. It'll all work out. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you might have just saved my day. So we'll see. Tune in next I'll week. Text, I'll text to, you yeah. today. And be like, oh my god, it'd be really embarrassing. So I hope it's not, but I do hope it is. I hope it's it fun. is, so you can get get it started. I, know, I was like, I mean, it, like they have. I've tried other marketplaces. Everything just looks so bad. Yeah. Okay. Well, what were you ever able to find a bound? A bound like doesn't exist. They have drop we buy a bound, which is drop shipping. And I almost was like so desperate, like I just need to start. I will start with drop shipping if that's what yeah. you do. Simplify, simplify, simplify. Even though it seems way more complicated. Right. So then I tried to order from that, and they're like not launched yet. So what the fuck. I know it's just been a thing. Girl. Well. Good luck to you. I hope it is, but I also hope it isn't. Yes. yes. Thank but you. yes. <laughs> so what's the next segment? We already did. Oh, squeezer splash. Let's get in the squeezer splash. Let's go. So, yes, for our squeezer squash session, mm -hmm. I want to talk to you about a trend that I obviously didn't make up the trend, but I am coining Ooh. my term for the trend, which is Connecticut core. Do you have any, core. like, what comes, what comes to your head when you think of that? Like, what do you think I'm talking so about? So when you first told me about it, it gave me, like, Grandma Northeast. But, well, that's just because Connecticut is in the Northeast. But, like, it was giving me, like, cozy vibes for a second. But then I was also thinking, like, I don't know, like, Ivy League. Maybe? That's what I'm going, like, the Ivy League look. Yes. So, I showed you the picture that I was kind of, like, referencing, like, this one that we both, like, love the outfit. Like, it kind of gives you Ivy League prep school girl. Like, what's that other school? Like, a Harvard. No, they send you oh. away to it, like, when you're, like... Boarding school? Boarding school. Like, boarding school girls, like... Yes. And I'm just thinking of, like, you know, Connecticut it has a lot of old money, so that's where I see, like, stuff like that. Yes, it goes with the old money trend, and I'm so in the old money yes, trend right so now. Yes, so we're kind of, like, old money, but meets, like, a little bit it girl. Like, it girl. So, literally... So Sophia Richie. <laughs> Sophia Richie, basically. Yeah, but I think even. But some in of this, school. But even some of this stuff, like I don't know, like the Sophia Richie or Uggs, like does she I do don't that? Know. She usually does very like super classic clean. Sophia Richie is like old money. This would be like yes, okay, I see what you're going. Yeah. For. So this, this is like modern. It's modernized a little old, bit. It's it girl old money. Yeah, it it's, girl old money. So you can tell Serena, her it's it's you Serena can tell her from old Gossip money. Girl. You can tell they're old money, but they're still in this generation. Whereas, like, you know, yeah. a new money girl in L.A. is wearing, like, some tacky form, like, tacky designer thing that's very loud. Like, with, like, all, a Fendi shirt. Like, a Fendi shirt. All and the then, Gucci, like, yeah. Yeah, like, something Gucci, something super obvious. Whereas this Connecticut core is, like... Silent like, luxury. Silent luxury. I love that so much. I've been, like... Yes. Ooh, I don't know. I'm so into the silent luxury. So, like, just, like, good neutrals, sweaters, the blazer, the plaid, the pleats, the... Uh, but just mixed with something modern. So, like, right now, I want to do an outfit with, like, that stuff all at combined with then, like, putting your other with it. So, it's still cozy. It's still, like, a little bit down the road. Well, like, I've been incorporating, like, the Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks, too, With, yeah. like, so, okay, I went... We went out last Saturday night, and... I was trying to kind of get do that vibe. I wore a plaid, like skirt, mm -hmm. like a blue, brown, and gray skirt. With what shirt did I wear? Black bodysuit. It was just a black bodysuit, with a jean jacket and white platform tennis shoes. Yes. 
So, but what I had on before was very like old money. It was like I had like a like a black tall boot on and a blazer. Mm -hmm. And Stephen literally goes, he was like, "You look like you're going to work." He goes, we're going out. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, you're no, right. No, this is in now, though. Yeah. It's it's so in to go out with, like, the work wear. So, but I, okay, so, but I replaced the blazer with the jean jacket, an oversized jean jacket, and replaced okay. the boots with a, a platform tennis shoe. Yeah, a platform white tennis shoe, but it was, it's a corduroy tennis shoe. <gasps> Love. Great. So, good transition, and I was, like, so much more comfortable, and I got so many, like, compliments, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, so I kind of feel like that fits. Yeah, it's funny that I love that, like, that old money aesthetic, but I also wear, like, really funky stuff, because, like, I went to mm -hmm. a concert on Saturday, and that's, like, the magic crazy, or is it magic or crazy? Magic 8 balls? And oh, like, Magic 8 balls, yes. It's a sweater set that I got from Dress and Lala. I, I saw that. That was so, so many compliments. That was so freaking cute. Okay, I got so many compliments. And you can, like, that's such a, like, an October, like outfit because yes. like magic eight balls like spooky like right oh love yeah so i got a lot of compliments on it i'm so i like wish it fit me better i wanted it to be a little bit more oversized on me like so i wish i oh, would really? have sized I it up like a glove it looked good no, it fit, like that's the problem it fit like <laughs> i wanted like, it to no. be a little bit baggier like if you look at it in the photos i thought it looked cuter on the girl and i think it was like a looser fit on her um <laughs> and then also like it makes me so angry when i first saw the set it was like bell sleeves and then they like it was like out of stock. It was gone. It wasn't on the website anymore. I couldn't find it. I was heartbroken. I'm like, I'm never gonna get that outfit. They bring it back, but then now it has like regular sleeves. I was yeah. like, oh, not as cute. I don't know why you would take it from a bell sleeve to like a normal sleeve. Yes, whatever. So do you like bell sleeves? Yes. I'm I'm on a stru more structured because it's on a knit. Like I don't want a flouncy bell sleeve. No, I don't want it to be like so. Okay, sorry. Um, I don't want it to be like so huge that it's like yeah, freaking parachute. But I do like when it's like yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So I that's what it was. I mean, there's a sweater. It's a tight like knit. It's a very good quality too. Was it hot? A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a very thick knit. Like it's like I said, it's a super good quality. I'm not. I don't know if I've had a lot of like clothes. I've gotten this with that bit of quality. Is that one and then like a set I have from Runaway Scout. So wait, where was the, the Magic 8 Ball uh, set from? Dress in Lala. Dress in Lala. Mm -hmm. But no affiliation to Lala from Vanderpump Rules? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like. Very funny question. Because if it was, I'm immediately buying it. <laughs> yes. No, this may have like super funky, like kind of out there clothes. Like a lot of stuff like has retro. like aliens on it, like big <gasps> bold prints and like cr like words and like. Okay, I'm gonna have to check it out because I've been kind of like super into stuff with like alien heads on it. Right yeah, now. yeah. So you'll like it then. They have like okay. some really quirky stuff on there, but a lot of their Perfect silhouettes. For October, a lot of their silhouettes I don't love. So it's like they'll have the coolest outfit. They're just like way oversized, like super oversized long dresses, like giant oversized like button down like sets like but like everything is like super baggy and i was like i'm not down for like slightly oversized but it's like kind of like but it's really you can, like so you could so you could like size down maybe i didn't think about that but it's giving it's giving very la vibes where i think like, like i baggy, want that like skater. la print and look with like more of like snatch snatch silhouettes like we do here in the midwest <laughs> yeah well in in the northeast yeah the very classic but um yeah but so you're calling this connecticut core yeah but not the, not justin lala don't go look at that and be like what is she talking about but like i'm talking about like how we're back into like the plaid and the pleats the plaid pleated skirt i'm so down skirt, for this plaid. The, like tennis skirts are like kind of in for the love. like school girl look the collared shirts like i Got a collar, or like a sweatshirt. That has a collar. From on Target it. that has a collar attached. I to am it. so okay. So I bought my first collared like pullover from TJ Maxx last spring. It's in baby blue. I kid you not, because you know in spring it's still kind of cold. Mm -hmm. It's again, it's I call it Princess Diana weather. Yeah. Where like a sweatshirt and shorts yeah. are like totally acceptable. So it's, it's happening right now, and it will happen again in spring. Mm -hmm. Um, and I wore that thing like every fucking day and i because it was just like it just like elevated the comfy yes like look and i'm like i need a sweatshirt with a color 
on all my sweatshirts. I know, I'm just gonna look up on Google, like, collared Collar sweatshirt. sweatshirt. And it's so, so I have cute. that striped one that uh -huh. I wore in Italy. I wore that, like, all in Italy. Mm -hmm. I wore that to the airport on my business trip, my work trip, actually, this past week, and got so many compliments. Because everybody was like, you look so put together, but, like, you're also, like, in the airport. Right. And then I just got one from Offline at Airy. Oh. They have a ton of them. Don't tell me uh, anything. I already ordered way too much stuff from them. So bad. Like <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, I've, wor I've worked at American Eagle for probably, like, 15 years on and off. And since I have a wedding to save up for, I am now working at Aries' new offline location in the West County Mall. But you won't see me on the floor. I'm back in the back doing shipments. But that means I get to see all the new stuff. That's, like, not even out on the floor yet. Yeah. So, I'm just telling you, they already said their holiday floor set one. Um... But it it's like ever it's like it's like all the neutrals and then there's like lavender and pink and but like so many and they're cropped so they're cropped collared sweatshirts and I'm so sounds here. really cute I'm so fucking here for it yes Connecticut core Connecticut are you core. squeezing or squashing I'm squeezing this a hundred percent and I, I need to too. find that coat yeah I've been looking for that coat too I looked at, I've been looking at thrift stores and I found like a vest that was like that. Mm -hmm. But I haven't been able to find a coat, and like when I googled it, it was giving me like boohoo, Shein. I, mean, I don't. I'm not, uh, I'm not wearing from Shein, and then seen. boohoo, I'm sure is like not much better. So then I like found it in like more expensive sites, and I was like, that's too much money. I don't want to pay that much. Right. But, but a good coat. I mean, I will spend like how much would you spend on a coat? Honestly, like I'm probably gonna buy one of the expensive options because it's a coat and it's a thick coat and it has details. I'm like, telling you, I think like it's worth it. my outerwear, I have, I'm so into outerwear. I wish this is. I need to move somewhere cold. I cannot deal with this global warming because I'm an outerwear girly. Okay. And I have more coats than I do probably like actual pants. <laughs> well, so that was my problem. I bought a bunch of coats and jackets from thrift stores the past few days because I don't do them. And like what I'm, it's what so I fun. do, I'm the, I am that girl that people talk about where if I put together an outfit and the coat or jacket ruins it, we're not wearing it. No, nope, and exactly. I'm not doing that because I'm cold, I'm freezing, and I want to be comfortable. Exactly. But yeah, so it's always been this like push and pull. Like I didn't always just not wear a coat or jacket. Like there are some days where it's just simply too cold to go without it. Right. But then I'm like, no one can see my outfit. So I was like, I gotta start buying more outerwear so it can go with my outfit. Mm-hmm. So, and that's what I did. Um, but I, I still need that coat slash jacket. I've been seeing a lot of looks with it. The one we're talking about is it's, like, that 70s, like, suede coat, tan, like, I would call it, like, camel, camel color, yeah, tan with, like, coat the fur. with the Sherpa. Sherpa. Sherpa on the inside. It was Sherpa in lined, the 2000s uh, again. Yes. Sherpa lined su suede camel coat. Yes. We'll, we'll, post it. we'll post it on our Instagram, so make sure you're following us. We're gonna find it. I feel like. Wait. So, have you ever been to Avalon Exchange? No, we should. In go the there. Loop, I feel like they might have one. Okay. Or the Green Shag. I love the Green Shag. Yes, I feel like we could find it there or eBay. Like honestly, even eBay. Yeah, I was like, I don't want to have to pay like for new ones because there's there's perfectly good ones I'm sure floating around in the thrift world that are like actually from the seventies. Right. Yeah. But um, well, this is a fun one. I I know, yeah, I really so like we're calling one. it Connecticut Core, and we're squeezing it. Yes, and when you post about it, make sure you tag me. Yes, we're we're starting. But I think I'm starting it, but I don't know for sure. Heard it first here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> heard it first here on Delusional. Breaking news. news. Right. Do you want to get into our next segment? Yes. Since you, it's October, we're doing spooky stories of the week, and this one is literally, like, so freaky. It is freaky. Like, we have our shirt together a little bit this week on this one, um, but me and Steven have been watching this show called Frogging, P-H Frogging, mm -hmm. Hider in My House on Hulu, and it is the most disturbing thing ever. Like, once you hear these stories, like, you are going to want to check your attic and lock your doors yeah. at night. This is why I was, I told you there was, like, some funny term for it when I was telling you about Yes, it. we were trying to think of last You week. said, like, squatters. I was like, no, it's something else. Like, I remember hearing, like, some, like, I thought that was a funny word for it. Mm -hmm. So, 
I, um, yeah, I'm terrified of this. This is my worst nightmare. And I've actually thought that I've had a frogger in my house before. Me too. Still unconfirmed because we have never gone into our attic. <laughs> wait, me too. So wait, yeah. do we want to share our personal frogging stories first? I mean, mine's not that much. It's my, just, mine either. But I just don't... hear random noises and sometimes like someone could live up there only because I heard so many of these frogging stories like on a podcast one day. Right. So now I was like, what? Someone lives up there and I don't know about it. And I... Is there access to your attic? There's like a door, but I've never gone up there. Ugh. So I we never just, plan on going up. Never, ever, ever. We just actually recently had to go up in our attic because for we could not find the smoke alarm that had a dead battery. Oh my god! We like could not find it, and our, like Koopa hates it. He was like going nuts. He was hiding under the bed, like mm. would not come out and eat. We're like, and we like could not find it. We took all of them down. We're like, it has. To, it sounded like it was in the attic. So Stephen went up in the attic. Luckily, no. No sign of anybody living up there. Okay, that's good. The smoke alarm wasn't up there. It was actually in a closet. But <gasps> yeah, I hate that you don't go up there for no reason. No, like if I ever have to go up there. Literally, we be a thought good we had asbestos poisoning or something. But anyway, um, no. So when I lived in my apartment in Shaw, mm-hmm. um, we the, it was like a four family flat. Okay, so the stairwell in the middle was communal, and the basement's communal. Mm-hmm. So one day we come home. And the cat's water bowl is in the fridge. And I asked Steven, I was like, did your drunk ass put, like, because we had gone out the night before. And I was like, are you, was this you just being drunk? And he was like, no, I swear to God. Like, I, well, he was like, why would I do that? Like, he does random shit. Like, he leaves food out. Or, like, like there's no reason for him to put a water bowl, like, the cat's water bowl in the fridge. So I was just like, sometimes I sleepwalk. I was like, maybe, maybe I was just. Oh, you do? Not as much anymore. But like, some I was like, maybe I chalked it up to like either me or him sleepwalking, and he's not telling the truth. So then we come home the next day from like running errands and stuff, and a dish towel from the kitchen was like it was wet and was slung over the arm of our couch in the living room. And I'm like, oh, and this was middle of the day. Like the cat bowl in the fridge was like the next morning after a late night but this was like we can I am run. on the edge of my seat this is right wow okay so then i'm like okay that's fucking weird i'm like i text my neighbor i'm like hey did you because m- me and my neighbor were close at the time when we had keys to each other's apartments because oh, okay. i would check on his cats when he was out of town vice mm-hmm. versa and i was like was there like not saying you did and not like being accusatory or anything but did you have to come into my apartment for any reason and he was like no and i was like okay and he was like, I was like, are you having like any like weird shit happening in your apartment? And he was like, um, actually, yeah, some stuff has moved around, but I thought maybe I was just being <gasps> crazy. Yeah. So I know we go, I go down to the basement one day to do laundry because that's where the communal laundry is there. And there's, um, there's always been an old mattress down there, like leaned up against the wall from the previous tenants. The mattress was down. And there was a lighter, an open pack of cigarettes, and like a uh, like a chip bag. And I was like, "Fuck this!" I was like, "Fuck no!" So I told Stephen about it. We went and stayed at his apartment because this was when we weren't living together at the time. We went and stayed at Stephen's apartment. Text my landlord. He was like, "Yeah, the um the basement door was like lock wasn't working." So like to the outside. So you have a frogger? Like it's not. This is no. Nope. Oh. I'm gonna find out. It was the chick upstairs. It was her boyfriend. She had kicked him out the week before. Well, okay, yeah. So he was a frogger. Okay, okay. I don't know if he was the one moving around shit in mine and my neighbor's apartments because we lived on the the bottom floor. Mm -hmm. But she, it was the chick upstairs. It was her boyfriend that she had kicked out a week prior. And he, I guess, was living in the, he admitted to living in the basement until, because he had nowhere else to go. Wow. But... Then I'm like, okay, well, well, are you, are, were you, but there's no way, because like, I don't know, I couldn't, I didn't understand how you could have came into my apartment because right. like, I was like, my, get into my windows are locked, the, the basement door, the door to the basement was locked. So I, I mean, but once I knew it was him, I kind of just like out of sight, out of mind. But yeah, is that insane? That's pretty insane. Yeah. I had never have experienced anything like that. Yeah. But that's pretty crazy. Okay. But we have some, like, more chilling stories. Yeah, let's get into some of those. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? You go first. Okay. So the first one we're going to talk about is the stomach turning case of Daniel LaPlante. Daniel LaPlante, okay. 
Okay, so Tina was convinced that a spirit of her deceased mother was speaking to her through the walls of her home in Pepperell, Massachusetts. Okay. For weeks, the teenager received cryptic messages scribbled into the walls, condiments with condiments like ketchup. Items were oh. rearranged around the house. Full bottles of alcohol were turning up empty. So, I don't like I don't like the writing on the wall shit. Yeah, so this is in the 1986. Okay. So one day in December, um, Bowen, the girl, returns home with her father. And they find a uh there was a stranger in their closet. So they found him? Yeah, there was a stranger in one of their closets <sighs> with a painted face, a Native American style jacket, a ninja mask, and a hatchet the fuck? in his hand. He forced the Bowens into a bedroom before running into another part of the home. Tina used that opportunity to call the police. Stupid. I don't understand that. Why would you force them into another part of the home and then run off? You know, with most of these frogging stories, I'm finding they, like, they have a weapon, but they never, like, kill anybody. Yeah, like, I know. I, I mean, thank gosh for that. Right. But I just thought that was very odd. So the authorities arrived and found out that the stranger was a teenager named Daniel LaPlante. Him and Tina had briefly dated, and he was living in the family's crawl space for several weeks, taunting them. Ugh. Like, like he, so his intent was to scare them. Yeah, and then the story of the, the frogging ends there, but he did go on to brutally murder a teacher and her two children oh. while he was out on bail for this incident. They need to, like, assess people like that and then, like, keep them... Yeah. Locked away. Forever. Contained. Contained. I, well, and in the 80s, the, like, security wasn't really, like... You know, we don't have the security systems that we have today. Yeah. You know what I mean? The way he the way he murdered was awful. But we're not going to get into that. But just know that, like, that's terrible. Like, he was out on bail. He shouldn't have been on bail in the first place. But I guess, like... If you're, like, breaking and entering, no. Because yeah. you're just going to do it again. He did, he did it again. That's what it started. He started by breaking and entering to another With couple. a hatchet. Yeah. So, like, obviously the intent was there. Oh, it's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it this? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's an apple cider um, co- cocktail. Oh, yeah. Do you want one? No, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Um, I just drank mine very fast and I needed something else. Anyway, so my story is from 2016 in Bucktown, Chicago. Okay. Um, which is like a suburb of Chicago. So Jordan and her boy boyfriend at the time, Jack, um were having a normal day it was a sunday so it was like a lazy sunday vibe they were mm-hmm. spending time out on their balcony um or hanging on the hammock went out for dinner in the evening returned home did a little chores watch some tv you know your typical you know single like a couple night right the two dogs they also had two dogs that were like sleeping downstairs with them they fell asleep on the couch and they woke up around 4 or 5 a.m and went upstairs to go to the bedroom seems like something totally like me and steven would do honestly um the next day jordan discovers that her purse is missing they have had like a end of bed bench and she says she always leaves her purse there like it's a habit like when they come home she drops her purse there she said it's yeah. gone her boyfriend jack was convinced that she had just left the house without it because they didn't live together at the time so it's actually jack's apartment Mm -hmm. and that she had left the house and like left it in her car or left it at her house so jack had like a top of the line security system and he was like i swear to god you're being crazy like let me go back and look at the surveillance cameras they're watching the surveillance cameras around 3 30 a.m a man in a gray hoodie appears at the top of the stairs and watches them for 45 minutes while they're sleeping on the couch oh my gosh does not disturb the dogs does not like doesn't make a noise just creeps out of the shadows and like it's just watches it's just standing there because it's a horror movie yeah this is like and it's like a loft style apartment so um like he's peering over the banister and just like watching them for 45 minutes then he snatches jordan's purse and then goes out the balcony sliding door which they left unlocked right so the couple informed police and got support from the neighborhood watch group um and it came to find out similar burglaries in the area had been like happening and um police arrested a suspect at a local library but he was released due to lack of evidence because the security camera didn't clearly capture capture his face and so then when he was released the next neighborhood down the street started having more stuff like like that happen like random shit missing so this guy didn't kill anybody but gosh but like 
Wow. The you fact that he like was serious with them. The fact that he was just like, yeah, that he was just standing there for 45 minutes. Like, what are you doing? I would love to know. Right? That's a long time to just stand somewhere and stare at people. Like, what Also, do you like, imagine, that like, this is why I don't have, I have one inside security camera, but I don't have, like, one in the bedroom or one in, like, my office or anything because I'm afraid if I check it one day, I am going to see something wild like that. Yes. I and, know, like, I like, I'd just rather not know, like, like, it gives me paranormal activity. You know what I mean? Like, I'd right. just rather not know. I, I think I would rather not know either. I don't, yeah. I'm, like, so afraid if there was cameras in my room that you, I would just see, like, a ghost come in and just, like. Yeah, like, someone standing over me just watching me for 45 minutes, like, whether yeah. it's a ghost or a frogger, like, absolutely not. Rather just not know. Right. Yeah. Do you have another story for us? I do. So, this one comes out of Honolulu. Okay. So, uh, Brittany and James Campbell returned to their home with their two young sons on September 20th, 2019, so not that long ago. Oh. A uh, bike was sitting outside, so they immediately knew something wasn't right. Like, like a motorcycle or just a regular bike? Like, a, just a bike. Oh, okay. Um, James, at, uh, who was 36 at the time, was a member of the U.S. Navy. He went to open the front door of the home, only to find that a stranger was on the other side, forcibly pulling the door closed. I can just, that's, like, so silly. Like, I play, like, little games like that with my kids. So I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Wait, so someone, the frogger was inside trying yeah, to... Yeah, trying to pull the door closed. What an idiot. Yeah, exactly. Oh my God. So I, like, I play like that with my kids. So I just, like, I wouldn't, I couldn't help with the, like, obviously be freaked out, but also laugh. Like, what are you doing? Right. Um... James managed to get the man, the man, a 23-year-old named Ezekiel Zaz, out mm-hmm. of the house by yelling at him. The police soon arrived at the property, but after Zaz was arrested, the Campbells realized the true extent of the damage he had caused. Everything was torn apart. Things were put out on display and kind of organized, but chaotic at the same time. James said the Campbells also discovered disturbing messages from their unwanted house guests. On the family's computers and counters, the Campbells discovered a series of terrifying notes from Zayas. The, zo- the notes mention bizarre surgeries and the desire what? to turn the family from omnivores to Ezekiel's. I don't know what that means. So he was, so this is another, like, he was definitely planning to kill them when they came oh, back. Oh, no, I don't understand. It was strange, and he wrote about wanting to perform surgeries on us and transform us and stuff like that. Yeah. The trouble... Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the couple checked their bedroom and they found knives scattered about. Oh, yeah. They even discovered diary series written by Zayas about them. And if he had been watching them as if he had been watching them a while before it covertly. Like before just, they went on vacation. Yeah. Before moving in. So you like <gasps> been watching them and it ended up moving in at some point. No. So they said he violated our family and he violated our home. Yeah. Did, did, did they move out? Do you know? I would not say I that. Know. I, I could not. Like, it doesn't specify, but it did say he eventually pled guilty to first degree blur- bur- burglary. Burglary. <laughs> and 2023, so this year, part of the plea deal what? that involved pleading guilty to a number of other crimes, the most serious of being killing a fellow inmate in the facility. They all end up being murdered. Being held at while awaiting the burglary trial. They so literally he was dangerous. Yeah, there was knives scattered everywhere. I would not be able. Oh, I would have to move. twenty years in prison. That's not enough. Oh no, I would have That's to move. Concerning. I would have to move. Like I mean, like I don't care if we just moved and this happened. Like all the, the fact that I could never live there again. No, ever, the ever, fact ever. that like um he knew that they had moved and like followed them. Yeah, like that's what's like even more like cringe to me is like they it. it like, if he wouldn't have been captured, then would he have just followed them to the next house? You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. That's, like, almost That's super stalker. Creepy. That's almost stalkerish. Yeah. Um, so. I have one yeah. more story. Oh, you do? Okay. And then we're going to wrap this up. Um, So, this, in June of 2012, Heidi Lane lived in a second floor apartment in Tulsa, Oklahoma, near an ultrasound school. She recently noticed underwear missing from her drawers Ooh. and a mis- <laughs> Right. Initially dismissed it thinking she just like misplaced it or whatever. I mean, like I've done that before. Like, right. oh, it the, the dryer ate it or whatever. The situation escalated specifically like large numbers of her underwear were missing. Like she kept buying underwear. Yeah, it was right. going missing. Yeah, it was she gone. Was, what the hell? She became more cautious at the laundromat, but realized someone was responsible for stealing her underwear. She eventually adopted a dog for security 
one night the dog was barking ferociously at her walk-in closet um and but she didn't open it she just dragged her dog out of the bedroom slept on the couch that night and like bolted the bedroom door uh this went on for like a year she let this go on for a year. She tried to just dismiss it. A she, year? It, and it escalated from there. She would come home to find her balcony door unlocked. Um, She said her phone went... She said this was the trigger. Her phone went missing one night. She said a friend came over. She walked down her... She walked her friend down to her car after they had like they like a wine night, girls night. Um, said her, She came back up. Her phone was gone. She started receiving calls from an unknown number of a person just like breathing into the phone like legit murder like that's a murder case um finally in october of 2013 apartment maintenance had to switch out some lights in the top and they found terrifying items in the attic including that connected everything to like heidi's it was basically a shrine of her it was like her underwear pictures of her um they found tiny holes in the ceiling where this person was like the frogger was taking pictures of her in her living room in the shower in her bedroom yeah so police arrested carlos perez 26 year old man living up in the attic above heidi's apartment um they found more of heidi's underwear at carlos's house he actually lived two doors down from her and he was he that's how he didn't need ever enter her home. He crawled through his attic to her attic. They were the only two apartments in the entire complex that had attic access. So he pled guilty to a count of second degree burglary and three counts of peeping Tom and received an eight year suspended sentence. <laughs> I'm like looking up uh, for holes in my I know, ceiling. I was like, I will be going home and checking everything, putting tape over every little nook yes, and cranny. Yes, exactly. Like, cause then, like, we like we mentioned before, it will make you want to lock your doors. But like, apparently, locking your doors doesn't even work in this right. situation. Right? Yeah, it's so violating. Yeah, but that's your spooky story of the week. We'll have another one next week. Try to sleep well after these. <laughs> yeah, <Dare> you <laughs> dare to sleep well. But um, that wraps it up for this week. I guess that's it. Do you want to sign off? <laughs> oh, I, I was like, stay delusional and lock your doors. Stay safe. All right. See you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>